we got kicked in the teeth because it happens so fast in the lower keys. I mean, within a week, it usually takes 30 days, a week, we were seeing the bleaching occur down there. We've seen 100% bleaching on the reefs, and we already seen at some locations 100% mortality. So it's very devastating, heartbreaking, and it's 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 very threatening because we are very early into the summer of this year. So temperatures can only go up now for the next month or so. So it's gonna get worse. People jumped into action really quickly, as best they could. Um, you know, if you have an offshore nursery, there aren't really a lot of options for, for your coral, right? Best option is to get them out of that water and get them into cooler water if tables are available. So I do know that there's a little bit of stress right now just between land-based and offshore nurseries just trying to make that happen. We can't afford to lose more of our reef. We're already at less than 5% live coral cover on this reef. And this reef is so important to the economy of Florida, but also to the coastal protection of Florida. Hearing about the bleaching and seeing it posted on people's stories online and the news is one thing. Seeing it myself, I cried. Like the reef that I snorkeled, Hens and Chickens Reef, every single coral was bleached or paling or partially bleached. Every single one. Island Marana is the fishing capital of the world. So if we lose our reefs, we're going to lose the smaller fish that hang out there, which means the bigger fish are not going to have anything. So fishing is going, and I mean, that is a huge draw here, as well as, um, you know, even swimming and going in the ocean. It's not that fun to do right now because the water temperature is so warm.